everybody, Nicole Stargazer Soaps. I am getting ready to make a um, tropical soap. I should have read the description. Um, I didn't. This has just been one of those crazy days. So I'm a little off right now. But it is, um, it's a tropical soap or a smell. Um, coconut for sure, pineapple. It, it reminds me of a pina colada. Is that what it makes you think of? Mm -hmm. The pina colada? It does, yeah. So that was just a lye solution. again and I even warmed them up I don't know although I warmed them up quite a while ago and this room is really cold so oh well so I need to do that so here's my cream a batch that I did yesterday that I was really excited about uh, I did a video but I'm not gonna post it um, it was black raspberry and vanilla and it was so pretty but I realized today that I forgot to put in one of my oils in three of my buckets, and that happened to be one of them. So I had to chop it all up and rebatch it. It's actually in the crock pot right now. <laughs> Noticing the stick blender is not, it has a hard time with the bigger buckets. It's, it's sounding like it's working harder. Yeah, it's not mixing as well. I almost need a more powerful stick blender. It does much better in the ones I poured into the bowls, but. I'm doing a teal. To actually match some back bombs that I did earlier today. Pretty. Um, they're done in the same scent. And then some hot pink. This fragrance is supposed to discolor some, so hopefully Oops. Hopefully the colors will remain true. I'll do a little bit more. We'll go with that and then white for the rest. And this will either be a light 
tan or cream after the cure. Just because it is a dis discoloring fragrance oil. A stick blender, it looks white. Yeah, it just looks yellow in there, so maybe it's not too bad. All right, and then pink. But this is so fluid. I think I might do a drop swirl instead. We'll see. Is that in the way? No. Messy, messy, messy bowls. Smells good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty too. These colors are pretty together. It's not soapy unless I drop it down the sides, huh? 
Take a skewer. Some color left on the bottom. I didn't get this in. I didn't really have a plan for this one, just hmm. the colors. I knew I wanted to do this fragrance and I've been trying to figure out the colors all day and I figured them out just a few minutes before I actually started making it, so. I'm just kind of splattering the tops. And I'll swirl them. Better stack them down though. Did that get you? No. And that is why we wear goggles. That shot across the room. Did you see it? Um, yeah. It a little bit came off around the table here. Well, it hit the, um, and the it tripod. Hit, yeah, but no, nothing got on me. It's a good thing the babies can sleep through that, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing our kids are sound sleepers because it's late and they're all in bed. And this is not exactly quiet. Do I keep putting the bowl in front of the camera? Because I noticed I was doing that yesterday. Not, not too bad this time. A little okay. bit, but not... Like there's sometimes you just get all bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing that today. Good. I just got some soap on my foot. Do you see it? The white soap there? Thank you. I soap and bare feet. I do wear my goggles though and my gloves. But shoes? Me. No, I don't like shoes. Or socks. I'd rather be barefoot. Just trying to scrape every possible drop out of here that I can. It's a big bucket. Okay. 
let's do the pink next. It's cramping. Okay. And I have just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of blue left. You know, some of the mess here. Smack this down a little bit. I even got soap up on the blind. No, oh, yeah, you did. Okay, not the first time. Mm. Won't be the last time. thought about doing a micro swirl on this one and decided I would keep it simple and add a little bit of glitter. So she's slippery, I can't hold on to anything. Let's clean off the edges just a little. Okay. And just a light dusting of glitter. Don't have a name for this yet, but the cure date is March 31st. I'll post a few bars on the website. It's probably not going to go up right away because I'm still frantically trying to get ready for the for the festival. But um, there you go. So check me out at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the soap out of the mold. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's going to darken a lot. I think it'll still be okay even if it does. I'm really happy with it though. Those colors came out really nice. Yeah, just the top of this one. This smells really good too. It's 
So I made this one to match my bath bomb. If you can see how big that bath bomb is, I mean, it's almost as big as the bar of soap here. Serious bathtub time with that puppy uh, towel. More love to cut here. And here's this one. And then the sample pieces. So a lot more pink in this one. I figured there would be, though. Oh, it looks cool. I'm glad I swirled it. So this will be ready March 31st. I don't know when I'm going to have it listed on the site. Most of this soap is for the festival that I'm getting ready for, but I will be posting some of it. I just don't know how much yet. And I don't know when. I have so much to make and so many bars to clean up um, and to photograph and labels and it's just, I'll get to it when I can. It's a really busy it's, time around here. Yeah, but there's a lot on the site right now that, that's ready to go. Um, still a bunch that are on pre-order. But if you keep an eye on the web page, follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, um, and even my blog, and I will keep you updated on what is going on. Um, so stargazersoaps.com.